Okay, so I was I was looking uh, last night for more information about um, what we were looking at, mm-hmm. especially to try to find that shape that you you built. Mm-hmm. And I learned about the tessellation or these tilings in three space are sometimes called honeycombs. Mm, cool. And this first one we looked at with with our octahedron is this. That tiling. That that tiling. Now, and, and it's interesting. There's different ways to look at this tiling. I don't actually fully understand all this, but you can see different symmetries if you color our truncated octahedrons a little mm-hmm. bit differently. Um, mm-hmm. so, so that's actually pretty neat. And then I went. I I saw there's like people have really spent a lot of time studying these, which is really cool. And then I um I found more of these honeycombs. Mm-hmm. So these are cubic honeycombs seem to be kind of simple yeah but sometimes you start some, with something simple and then it becomes complex a little bit more complicated octahedrons so it looks like there's a tiling with octahedrons yep it's truncated cubic honeycomb there's some tr- cubes truncated so now you have cubes with their corners cut off and then filling in the gaps with octahedrons. Oh, hmm. cool. That's actually pretty That's neat. That's sort of what we were doing. We had a shape and then we were filling in the rest with cubes. Yeah. And, uh, oh, by the way, look whose name shows up on this. Hmm? John Conway. Oh, hmm. John Conway. So, this is something John Conway studied. Where have you heard his name before? He invented the game of life and he talked about surreal numbers. That's right. And we actually even did a um, that a musical version of um, what was it called? Number? Or was it? Hmm. It's like we were doing stuff with numbers and how they sounded. Yeah, we were doing stuff with numbers and how they sounded. Sorry, I'm just blanking on the name. So there's some really cool. And so here's here's you're moving to different shapes besides octahedrons. Hmm. So there's a lot of very interesting three-dimensional tilings. Yeah. And these ones are called honeycombs. Honeycomb. Wow, here's one that looks like it has three different shapes. Let's see, it's related to a skew uh, <laughs> aperohedron. Yeah, look at all this stuff. Um, it's amazing, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. I wonder if we could make that out of zoom. Well, probably. We could just make the individual shapes. Yeah. It might be really big though. Can a truncated cubic honeycomb. Wow. Yeah, maybe we'll have to try that next. Anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that this this is actually actually what we're setting opens opens up into this amazing world of three dimensional tilings. Cool. Alright, good job today guys.